Hello friends of the torpedo. Today I want to show you something about the old three-speed hub from Fichtel and Sachs, the Mod 29. The Mod 29 was introduced in 1925, but it is a very early version and between 1925 and 1929 it is not easy to find a three-speed hub out of this time. The later versions from 1929 up to 1941 or 42, it is easier to find. And out of the time from the Second World War, the hubs are in yes, the black edition. Um, in the 1930s, it is possible to find chrome hubs but not the later version from 1941 or 1942. You can find it in black. And look at the shifter. This is an early shifter from the Mod 29, a shifter for the handlebar. And this is a black edition. You can also find shifters for the frame but I prefer this, it is easier at the handlebar to use the three-speed hub. And now I want to tell you something about the chrome hub. You see in the video now, the, this hub I have to take out, out of the wheel set and I use the same spokes and build a new wheel set with the mod 29 and now let's start the video this is the torpedo one speed from 1941 and it shows it with the spokes and i have to take out this all the spokes and the nipples and also the torpedo from 1940 and it, the customer wants built another wheel and so I have to overhaul the one speed and the three speed. And it needs much time if you want to use second hand spokes, but it looks better for an 80 years old bike. If the front wheel and the back wheel are built with second hand spokes. And this is a tool it to take out all the nipples easier. It needs much time to overhaul the spokes and to clean it. To build a wheel set with second hand spokes, it costs more. Yes, it is cheaper to, to build a wheel with new spokes. You have to clean every spoke. And the video only sh <laughs> I show only in 10 or 11 minutes all the work, but my first Mod 29, I think I need, I have used three or four or five hours to overhaul it. And now, okay, it's my work and it goes a little bit faster. But for a project like this, it is better you think about to have two or three hours to build a wheel, a wheel set with a Mod 29. This shows all the parts. I have used um, a second, a second hub mod 29. The axle was too short, and the sliding block was broken. And also, I have worked for the pull chain. I have used two pull chains. This shows sandpaper to work for the axle. 
it's important to do it like this for the sun gears on the axle. It's a axle from 1942 and it fits into a, a hub from 1941 and this shows the sun gear and the pull chain and the pull chain is a little bit too big for the hole in the axle so I have to work for it If you want to drive a Mod 29 and buy one in the internet or in a garage, it is better you only buy a Mod 29 with a pull chain in an axle. It is not easy to find a pull chain for this up. Now I check if the sun, the sun wheel draws on the axle. The Mod 29 is not a very strong hub. It is for old bikes from the 30s or 40s and you also can build it in newer bikes, yes, but it is not a hub to drive it every day through the year. If you want to buy a um, Mod 29, the price now in Germany is something about 100 up to 250 or 300 euros. This shows a planet wheel carrier and I grease the ball bearing on it with normal, with normal grease, yellow grease and for the rest I only use oil. No, at the axle I show it now for the position of the planet wheel carrier I also use grease. Very special dust cap. It fits between the driver and the hub shell. And this shows how I work for the brush brake with sandpaper. And this is Vaseline. Vaseline. Don't use oil or grease at a brush brake. With Vaseline the brake works better.
problem of every three speed hub is if you have vaseline and yellow grease and oil in a hub after two or three years you only have one oil in it and it is better to refer a much used hub every two better every year and work for the play of the ball bearings Now I test the function of the full chain if I have done this work I, I test all, all three gears. To spoke, the, to spoke in the hub I, I did not show. Now it is finished and the work is finished and the oiler has to be in opposite to the hole of the valve. With this I test the play, the play of the ball bearings. And this is a wheel set. And the, oh, the hub, the refurbed hub, torpedo one speed and all the parts I have repaired or take it out. This is the old brass brake. And after this work, I make a test drive. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.